Does blind bidding contribute to inflation of home prices here in Greater Vancouver? And what would it mean to remove it? Anthony Wahed with Remax All Points Coquitlam. The end trying to be achieved in proposing to remove blind bidding is more affordable housing, whereby removing any possibility for consumers to pay in excess for a home compared to what is being paid, having the numbers in the transaction not being transparent, homes across the board would ubiquitously decrease because multiple offers and subject free in conjunction with blind bidding is contributing to the most unaffordable market we have seen to date. If the following supposition is true, then it should be no surprise the government included in its federal budget a proposal to remove blind bidding. My endeavor in this video is to expand on why homes are selling hundreds of thousands over asking and determine whether or not blind bidding is as important as a contributor to the lack of affordability as being suggested. To start, let's understand why home prices here in Greater Vancouver are different across the rest of Canada. Since the 70s, Canada has been a very liberal country. With immigration, no less. For decades now, we've had people all around the world being welcomed and received. Of course, people are distributed in different parts of Canada, but after a few winters and the call for job opportunity, most will eventually migrate to Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Now, Greater Vancouver is very unique because we are landlocked. While in Toronto, people can expand out unable to afford the city, here, because of mountains, ocean, and the US border, our only options are our Highway 1 East. This is an incidental, foolproof landscape to continuously have real estate demand and competition. Now, with this landscape we've established, coterminous with a growing population, foreign money entering the nation, mass immigration, students here on visa and temporary workers, it should be of no surprise to see home prices have skyrocketed since the 70s and doubled only in recent years. Enter the illness that shall not be named and suddenly enkindled in the market is even more demand on the most expensive product in our industry for families, detached homes. Home offices are now needed, green space is wanted, commuting to work is no longer a Obligatory, meaning more at-home living in addition to low interest rates was the perfect combination for consumers to sell and upsize their current living state and investments. With all this considered, is skepticism in the market demand and prices really granted? The macro conditions that make up our market will always dictate home prices upwards in the long run, and that's a hard fact. People within my own sphere of influence, along with many other young adults, are considering and looking abroad confronting the reality of affordability. With all that said, if properties are listed at fair market value and offers amongst buyers were transparent, would this have as big of an impact as the public expects in decreasing home prices? Well. Buyers, let me ask you a question. If when competing for your dream home, you knew you were gonna lose out the highest bid by only a few thousand dollars, would you not come up? And in return, would not the other party as well? It's worth considering that with an auction type of market, it's possible even more offers or bids would be submitted. All things considered, removing blind bidding is controversial to say the least, Whatever is ultimately decided is out of this local realtor's hands. I just think it's worth considering removing blind bidding may not give the intended result. Regardless, blind bidding is in my opinion one of the least concerning catalysts that is pushing our home prices up. What say you? If you gain some insight or learn something new from this video, please consider subscribing. The team and I do our best to help you, the consumer, stay on top of what's occurring in the market, therefore being able to make an informed decision. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next episode.